What is going on guys? Jeff here, back at it with a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel and for everybody else that is new here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be in the know every time that we upload a new video. Now the subject for today's video is going to surround saltwater fishing. We're going to do it in top 10 style like we typically do here on the channel, but I wanted to dive into a new subject as far as concerning saltwater fish. I wanted to look into bottom dwelling saltwater fish. Now the bottom of your reef tank is a great place to put LPS corals, soft corals, and different types of corals, but what kind of fish do you put in your reef tank? that are going to hang out at the bottom. Give it a little bit of life, a little bit of action. So without further ado, let's jump into the top 10 saltwater fish that are going to hang out at the bottom of your aquarium. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 bottom dwelling saltwater fish is the leaf fish. Now, typical asking price currently for this fish is around $45, but you can find them a little bit cheaper Maybe find a special at your local fish store. These guys are considered moderate care level, semi-aggressive temperament. They have a carnivore-based diet, and part of that diet is eating shrimp. That's why this is a reef safe with caution fish. Not every fish that we talk about on this top 10 is going to be a good tank mate, and that's something that you need to take into consideration before picking one up. Make sure you do your research, learn everything that you can about the fish, and then figure out what is going to be the best situation for you. They grow upwards of four inches, and something that is important to mention about this fish is it does have poisonous glands. So if you're going to be keeping a leaf fish, you need to be careful, use some caution. Uh, the minimum tank size for these guys is 30 gallons. A very interesting and beautiful saltwater fish. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 is the long nose hawkfish. Now, this guy is recently gone up quite a bit as far as price point. $64 is a lot. I'm sure you could find one for much cheaper. And I believe in the past I have had one of these guys in the very first tank that I ever set up. And I paid around $30 for him. So that's a pretty substantial increase in price. As far as care level, easy to care for. It has a semi-aggressive temperament. So he's not always going to be a well-behaved Mr. Longnose. Uh, they have a carnivore-based diet. They are considered reef safe with caution. So definitely a fish that you want to make sure that is going to be a good tank mate or set your tank up for success. Do your research. Understand the fish. They can grow upwards of five inches, even though I've never seen one that big. But they don't require a huge tank. 30 gallons is the minimum tank size for this guy. And that has a lot to do with with their swimming habits they're not good swimmers they don't swim for a long time they spend most of their time perching on the bottom or on the rocks very beautiful fish check them out the long nose hawkfish coming in at number eight on our top 10 bottom dwelling saltwater fish is the sand hopper blenny now this guy is very interesting he is moderate care level semi-aggressive has a carnivore based diet like many bottom dwelling saltwater fish and is considered reef safe. So it's going to be a good tank mate. You don't have to worry too much about him picking on other fish. Grows upwards of five inches and requires a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 is the assorted angler. Now that this isn't a specific name for this fish. This is just kind of a catch all for anglers and this website price level average i would say uh for a smaller fish that's kind of expensive but that's another benefit of going to your local fish store and purchasing fish there because uh, you're going to know exactly what you're getting you're going to have a little bit more choice in the selection as far as what you're getting these guys are considered moderate care level semi-aggressive have a carnivore based diet and because of their diet that's what makes them reef safe with caution because they have a taste for shrimp so it's something that you need to be careful for with this guy. Very interesting fish. Doesn't do much swimming at all. They kind of just crawl along the bottom. They can grow upwards of 9 inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Absolute beautiful fish. Check them out, the angler. Coming in at number 6 on our top 10 bottom dwelling saltwater fish is the garden eel. Now this is a expert only fish, but they are incredibly interesting and there's some precautions that you need to take with this fish 
to have them thrive in your aquarium. And I strongly recommend that you do your research before purchasing this fish and don't just rely on this video to give you all the info on this guy. They are considered peaceful. Uh, they are carnivore, reef safe with caution. They grow upwards of a foot and two inches and require a minimum tank size of 40 gallons. Now, the first time that I ever saw a garden eel was at the Dallas World Aquarium. And they had this absolute beautiful tank that had, I don't know, 20 to 30 garden eels in it. And it was just stunning. Now, in a specific tank setup, it would be a very interesting addition. But it's important to remember they are expert only. Coming in at number five on our top 10 is the Hyphen Red Banded Gobi. This is a absolute beautiful fish, very interesting in its behavior. And I actually had this guy paired up with a pistol shrimp before he unfortunately jumped out of the tank. He was in a nano tank. I didn't have a lid on it. And unfortunately, I lost him. They are considered moderate care level, have a peaceful temperament. Carnivore based diet are considered reef safe and actually are a great addition to a nano reef. They grow upwards of 2 inches and require a minimum tank size of 10 gallons. Beautiful fish. Check them out. The Hyphen Banded Gobi. Coming in at number 4 on our top 10 saltwater fish bottom dwelling edition is the Orange Spotted Blenny. Price point on this guy, pretty acceptable. $34. Not a bad buy. Considered moderate care level have a peaceful temperament, herbivore-based diet. These guys will go to work on your rock work. So if you're dealing with allergy growing in your tank, get yourself a blenny because they're going to help out big time. These guys, even though that they are going to help out with removing algae from your tank, they are reef safe with caution. So it's something that you want to figure out beforehand and do a little bit of research to make sure it's going to be the right fish for you. They grow upwards of 5 inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Coming in at number 3 on our top 10 bottom dwelling saltwater fish is the Yellow Watchman Gobi. Now this guy is decently priced at $34 currently and these are one of my most favorite saltwater fish. They are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, carnivore based diet, are considered reef safe, grow upwards of four inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Coming in at number two on our top 10 is probably one of the most beautiful saltwater fish in the hobby, the blue dot jawfish. Price point on these guys, it's within line with what you could expect to pay for a blue dot jawfish. They are considered moderate care level, semi-aggressive, heavy carnivore based diet, reef safe, Grow upwards of three and a half inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. A absolute stunning saltwater fish, a cave dweller, a lot of personality. Check them out, the blue dot jawfish. And coming in at the number one spot on our top 10 bottom dwelling saltwater fish is the green mandarin. $34 for a green mandarin. Decent price. Now, one thing that you need to consider with this fish difficult care level and that has a lot to do with their feeding habits that's also why they tend to spend a good amount of their time on the bottom of the reef tank they love them copepods and you need to have a large amount of copepods to keep this guy going peaceful temperament carnivore based diet we already talked about that they are considered reef safe grow upwards of three inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Now, over the years, this fish has definitely gone down in price, and a lot of that has to do with aquaculture. Aquaculture is an incredibly important part of moving this hobby forward and reducing the amount of fish that are being wild caught. And if you don't take anything else from this video, the one thing that I want you to understand is supporting aquaculture is going to support this hobby and keep it moving forward because eventually the collection of wild fish may come to an end. And that's when we're going to 100% depend on aquaculture. And that's why it's so incredibly important to support it now. If you want to dive a little bit deeper into my top 10 list of aquaculture and saltwater fish, check this video out. I'll see you over there.